Hi Libra, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is showing up for you at this time. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. I'm going to be a very romantic time coming up for you. Could be somebody that you're with now or somebody from your past or even somebody new. Let me see. Knight of Coins. Could be an offer coming towards you. Yeah. I saw the lovers when I was getting this deck ready. The Two of Cups. A lot of very romantic cards. Something I feel like love is in the air or something or there's romance or I see some of you going to the movies. I don't know why that's important but actually going out to the movies. Maybe some of you stay home a lot and watch movies at home or rent them or something but I see you going out. I see you choosing between you know, two movies, or something just really catches your attention when you're out. Um, Lee, where you're going to go somewhere in the month of November, and you're going to run into somebody that you used to know and you know this person fairly well now you don't you didn't have to date them they don't have to be an ex you don't even have to really have feelings for them but you do like them let's just put it that way and it's going to be very surprising because i'm seeing you like are totally 110 percent not expecting this it's somebody like you may have worked with them or gone to school with them or lived next door to them or you know what i mean it could be a lot of different things a friend of your sisters or brothers or you know like, like it could be literally anyone i see you running into someone and you're totally unprepared to talk to this person, but not in a bad way. I think it just kind of stuns you. I feel like you're both in a better place. Meaning maybe you guys have both been married and divorced, or maybe um, you're just, you seem to be in a good energy because again, like I see you like going to the movies that may not be where you're at when you run into this person, but something like that where it's kind of like fun, but you're very focused again with the two coins I get like on what you're doing who you're with, you're with a friend, or maybe you go alone, or you, you know, go with a group of people, whatever the situation is, you're really happy, you're really in the moment, you're just doing your thing, and you are going to meet, or run into, I should say, because you already know them, so you've already met them, meet, you're going to talk to someone that you do know, it'll catch you off guard, but it'll be okay, it'll be a good thing, I see you guys going out for coffee, it could be late that day, later that day, later in the evening, it could be a Capricorn. We have also a fire sign here, but I see you guys hitting it off really quickly. What else? The Fool, Five of Cups, the Six of Coins, the Three of Wands. I feel like this person is going to do something out of the blue unexpected. I feel like for somebody viewing also, remember your birthday came and went and no one really celebrated it or acknowledged it and you feel very disappointed in that or you're expecting someone specific to reach out and they didn't. I feel like this person is going to really touch your soul or just make you happy or you know do something nice for you. I see someone who may have a flat tire. This person could change your tire for you or show you how or you know something like that. Something They may do something for you that's really unexpected but it's very um, helpful. It's very kind. These two right here, I feel like this person could de definitely be, um, you know, again, wanting to, you know, maybe they'll buy you some flowers by, like I said, at a stand that you pass or get you a cupcake um, at the corner bakery. Something just very kind. I mean, they're very thoughtful. This person's a very thoughtful person. This could definitely spark something that's uh, long lasting for you. Just keep that in mind. You may be worried about moving forward under the deck is justice, but I just feel like, and I also I'm getting for a few of you, maybe you're worried about what other people may think or say about this connection, but I get it doesn't really matter. I don't think there was a big age difference. I don't feel like there was a big issue here. I'm not sure why. You know what I'm kind of getting as I'm saying, I'm talking, sometimes I talk and it does help bring the messages in, in the background of my mind, but I'm getting that you have a routine, Libra, maybe that you already like um, or you enjoy it, and this is going to change everything in your life. So, you know, when you're single, you don't have to compromise what TV shows you watch or where you go and eat. And then you meet someone who likes very different things than, than you and it's like all of a sudden things are changing. You may like small dogs, they like big dogs, or you may like cats and they like dogs or something like that. 
but I feel like you're going to blend together very well. These cards just want to fall out. It's funny. I'm not ready for them. It says, in love with you and passionate. That's exactly what I got when I first pulled the deck. I felt like this could be a very passionate month. They could be artistic. Artistic to me also means not just like painting or drawing, but like they may have tattoos, funky hair, piercings. They don't have to have these things at all. Um, but I'm just saying like different age groups, different things, different people, you know, artistic can mean many different things. I'm not really picking anything else up with that though, but, but I'm gonna keep going here. What else about this person for Libra? I'm seeing candles all of a sudden. Like, I don't know if you put a candle in your window. I see a white one specifically. I don't know if, what, if you're going to purchase a candle. They buy one for you. You burn candles. Uh, maybe you want to make candles. I don't know. But all of a sudden, they're showing me candles. Now, it could be candle light, but it looks like a candle. Kind of like, kind of something like this, but um, a little bit like bigger. Um, something like might be a decoration. That, that That's kind of a decoration, but not really. Um, they're showing me something big, bigger. I don't know if they're even doing rituals or burning a candle in order to bring love, love in, but it could also be like a candlelight dinner. Now, they don't really look like romantic candles, but maybe that's what they're trying to convey to me when they show me that. It looks kind of dark. Your power may go out in the month of November and you may need some, some candles and you know probably a flashlight Libra. So be prepared. There may be a power outage in your area. It could be from the storm or something else that happens. What else about this person for Libra? This person is awakened, which I love. That's going to be very helpful. They could have very short hair. There's going to be a major attraction between the two of you. And again, they can't forget you is under the deck. Maybe some of you went to art school or took an art class or something. Maybe, maybe just because they're both under the deck. This one, they can't forget you, an artist. Maybe they make music because I know artists can mean a lot of different things. But okay, so, and again, don't rack your brain because it may not be yours. I'm just putting the two cards together. But see, major attraction, I'm getting like a show, like a major, you know, don't they say that like coming soon, like a major attraction, a movie, a movie in your area. I'm getting something about going to the movies or a movie is significant in the month of November. So, because <clears throat> I get like this could be a very romantic person who is looking for love. They may be a widow or widower as well. Uh, I feel like this person went through a very long, deep mourning period as uh, for some of you, and now they're really open to love and meeting the one. Okay, what else? One more thing about this person, what they might be like. Let's see. They're going to be very loyal. They're going to be very giving of themselves. And I just see that with the six of coins, and they love animals. And there's artistic again. So, okay, because I did get something like you may like cats, they may like dogs, or... They may have something like an iguana, or someone may have like one of those bearded dragons. So it's funny because it almost feels like the two of you, like you have a cat and they have a bird. It feels like something that may eat the other thing if not careful. But um, all right, what does Libra need to know with this person? Uh, I don't know if this is the deck to use. Let's, let's see what messages come through with this. I'm getting the name like Carl. Carl. The moon. Well, moon, moon can mean. Oh, how fun. Something outdoors. Does anybody actually do anything outdoors under the stars or like in the park or like movies in the park or anything like that? A picnic. It looks like at night though with the moon. Now, moon in this deck usually can mean like illusions or can mean um, cycles unseen so dreams being intuitive or also psychic okay I've used this deck before but I forgot and I want to make sure I get all because they have different meanings so make sure I get the right one for your reading because the tree talks about life health body grounded it talks about personal growth oh my gosh have some of you guys dreamt about this person? This has to do because you're awake in Libra and so are they. This may be like a very deep psychic connection. Um, something that, something like it's, because it says nature, spirit, environment. So the tree has a lot of different meanings. And then the, the owls can be a couple. They can be people who are talking. They can be gossiping, but I don't think that is what it means in your reading. Because it talks about communication, conversations. Could be nervous. See, social is also what it means. Excitement, meetings, couple. 
open-mindedness. Some of you might, I don't feel this that strongly, but I'm going to throw it out there, may go to some sort of convention that has to do with spiritual things or a store for spiritual things or something like that. You may run into a person there as well. But this is interesting because it's like the moon with the tree and the, I don't know, I just feel this person is a very psychic, mystical, like a, the connection. Kind of like something that very destined, a destined meeting coming back around. I can, I can feel it. I don't know how to check it, so I'm going to put those down for now. And it comes back around. There's something very deep there. Probably just a very deep past life soul connection, but I feel like there's something more. Okay. Tell me what else is going to happen for Libra in the month of November. I'm getting someone wants to make pastries. I don't know if you want to sell pastries or sell like something that you make that you, people eat. I also see someone who wants to make jewelry or... Um, I get like these are all good ideas. Whenever Spirit shows me them and you're thinking about doing that, that means it is a good idea to pursue it. You may make changes along the way. You The, the vision you start with may change as you go. You may find a better or different idea, but that's okay. It's best to start. So don't not do anything because you're afraid it's the wrong idea. They're saying that it is the right idea for this business. Four of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Three of Coins. I'm getting for some of you, you're going to get a very psychic spiritual download if you do meditate. I'm getting you get a vision. I'm getting something about you guys getting a very strong vision. You've never experienced this type of psychic connection with this with spirit or universe or earth or whatever you want to call it. You may want to go outside at night and sit in the dirt or sit in the grass and do this as well and wait for a um, a message from spirit I'm getting of what to do next, your next step on your path. Okay? I'm getting spirit is trying to bring in your soulmate. A very strong connection for you. Okay, so I'm getting like this meeting. It's very unexpected, but it's like on, on your path, divine timing. Okay, the energy is waning. So let me just pull one of these cards in closure of your reading. Yeah, the masculine. So I feel like there's a, the masculine is assessing or the masculine, let's pull another one. Yep, that wants to come out. There's a change coming in for you. Masculine, hang on. For Libra, masculine, manifesting dreams, and they want change, and it will be successful. See, it takes both sides, both counterparts, to want this, you know. And if this person wasn't ready to manifest this dream with you, because you, you guys could be destined soulmates, two people who are meant to be together. Um, and if you guys, if they weren't ready for a change, if they weren't ready to manifest their dream, it wouldn't happen, right? They would still be sitting at home, maybe mourning a loss of their person or something. Because I get for some of you, this person may have experienced, you know, a death. And, but now they're ready. Now they're ready to move forward. And I get like this happy union when I see the two of you smiling at the movie theater, like I said, it's, it's funny because you don't even, you're not even looking for love and that's when it happens. And this person, I feel like they have a sweater on with kind of a collar thing looking. I think that's what I saw. It could be in a jacket, but, um, I get like, it's chilly, but I just kind of get like, it's very surprising and very meant to be this run in. So I'm going to leave it there, Libra. Have a great week, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.